wonderful God, mighty Savior, our own Father, God indeed, whom we must adore. Give glory to him, magnify him by word, by deed, by the character you display at all times. And God, we also show faithfulness to you and loving kindness to you and pour out his favors upon you. Today we are going to read Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. The fruit of the righteous, the righteous best fruit, that fruit becomes a tree. And you know, obviously, the tree will bear more fruit. Righteousness, if you live the righteous life, there is something that should mandatorily follow bearing of fruit. Jesus said, I called you that you may bear fruit, fruit that will abide. Are you bearing fruit for the kingdom? You are in church. Can you turn around in the church that you attend and say, these 10 people have brought them to church? Why, the worst, these five people, I brought them to church. Can you say that? Can you say, for this year, at this point, I have brought five extra people to church. I am bearing fruit. I have preached to them. I have turned them from the path of sin to the path of righteousness. I preached to them and they have accepted Jesus. Can you say that? The fruits of the righteous will produce the tree of life. Which one have you produced? Where is that fruit that you bear? So that that fruit can also reproduce itself, the tree of life. It generates life continuously. Jesus said that you bear fruit, much fruit and fruit that will abide. Where is your own fruit? Have you produced the fruit? And the next part says, he that wins souls is wise. In case you missed what the fruit is talking about, winning of souls. Which person can you say, this is the one that I preached to and the person repented? Not because you gave him conviction. Conviction came from the Holy Spirit. But you did the act of speaking to that person. Whom did you speak to like that? Like I said, can you sit around in the church that you attend and say, these 10 people, I am the one that spoke to them. Conviction came upon them. They accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and they have turned to God. Okay, let's even say not in the church that you attend. Anywhere in this world, can you point to 10 such persons? And say they are there. They are still in Christ. Because we are talking about truth that will abide. Tree of life. That is to say, the tree that generates life. Not the tree that produces something today, tomorrow is dead. So if you could say, here are 10 people that I spoke to, have you followed them such that they still remain children of God? Or you had finished by speaking to them? The fruits of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that wins souls is wise. Are you winning souls? Will the wisdom be displayed in heaven or here on earth? We we'll pray for wisdom. How will you get wisdom? Win souls. What is he saying? There is a reward for winning of souls. Wisdom. I am not sure that there is anybody in this world who will wake up and say, I don't need wisdom, except the person was already insane. But a normal thinking person desires wisdom, needs wisdom, craves wisdom, fights to get wisdom. And how can you do it? Win souls is the reward that God gives to you in this world. You win souls, God gives you wisdom. God increases your ability to understand. Would you start winning souls today? If you do, you will start to increase in wisdom. Test it and say, test it and see. Always prove God by his word. He says if you win souls, you are wise. Then do it and see if you... you, you if the wisdom will not show up in your life, it surely will. Let's start soul winning today. Let your fruit show. Let it show unto God. Light up the fire and let the flame glow 
open the door, let Jesus return. Another person's door, the other person's door open. Everybody has a door into which Jesus can enter. So the seed of the Spirit, let the fruit show. Which fruit? The fruit that you bear unto God. The souls that you win. And God will grant you wisdom upon this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, everyone that goes out to win souls, everyone that is willing to bear fruit, may the fruit bring forth the trees of life. And may these trees of life also replicate themselves. And Lord, may your kingdom be populated by men and women who have turned to you by what we do, by what we preach to them, and by the prayers we also offer to keep them going. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.